Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Pretty Girls Breakout. Pretty Girls Breakout was developed and published by Zoo Corporation and it was released onto the PC on September 28, 2021 with the current MSRP of 5 at 99 As always, the exact release date, platforms, and pricing may vary from region to region and platform to platform. Alright, why don't we get into it? I know what you're thinking. This game looks like hentai, and it isn't. <laughs> but why don't we get into it? Uh, I got a code in my email, so thank you very much. I guess I'm moving up in the game's coverage chain now that I'm getting booba in the <laughs> in my email. Yeah, I didn't request the game. I didn't buy it. All right, all right, guys, <laughs> relax. All right, I I spent about three hours beating the game. I got everything unlocked in here. Why don't I go through that first? People are here for the booba, right? All right, so this game is Breakout, Arkanoid, if you play those type of games, and then there's Kawaii Anime Girls, and there's a screen in the very beginning that says all girls are over the age of 18, and I was like, oh my god, am I playing a hentai game? So yeah, you can, you can look at all these Kawaii Anime Waifus, you can go zoom in. Yeah, I don't know why you would want to zoom in, but you know. <laughs> The options are there. Okay. We got Booba. More Booba. Okay. Why don't we actually get into playing the game? I think the game is pretty okay. Because Breakout is always solid. So here, you get to play each girl's level. You can use the mouse or you can use the keyboard and the way the ball is angled is based on the ball's position relative to your character it has nothing to do with the animation of the little bar that you're swinging so if the ball is like to your right it'll rotate to your right now you do get some power-ups uh you get this bar on the ground that will if you saw i missed there it will bounce the ball the number of times on the left hand side of the bar so four more times uh, i just picked up a landmine and i shot it and it blew up and the game is pretty standard breakout except towards the end there are like these little drone ships and gun turrets that will shoot bullets which you can also reflect but uh it gets a little bit hectic like i had some difficulty in the last two levels everything else was pretty easy I think I might start, this is a series that I really wanted to do. I wanted to do a series called Is It Hentai? And I might, I might do that. It's a comedic series I had in mind where I would fake review games with the sole point of finding out if they're hentai or not. Use a rather dry sense of humor uh, to do so, but I might, I might do it with this game. I might do it with, uh, there was an actual hentai game I, I reviewed by a mistake. <laughs> Because I was like, there was an extra ball there that I missed. Uh, I was like, this looks like a really cute old school RPG. Turns out it's hentai. I'm like, god dang it. And that's where the idea came from. Because these days, like some games you just straight up know it's hentai. But other games you're just like, I don't, this look, game looks really cute. And then it, you just don't know it's hentai until later when everyone's naked. There's tentacles everywhere, you know? I'm just, I'm just saying. So I might, I might do that. It's uh, something I want to do for a while now. Alright, so... As you play, they transform. Uh, why don't I go to a different level? This is slow down, so the ball moves very slowly. And kind of position yourself better. One thing I would like to note, just a small complaint, but like when I play on full screen, this is you know first world streamer problems, but like the mouse cursor is not bound into the window, so sometimes I would click outside the the game window and I'll minimize it. Like freaking, what what is this? 
Same thing happens with uh, windowed mode. I'm playing in windowed mode right now. I'm capturing it as if it was full screen. Uh, it just, instead of minimizing though, it does stop the, the character from moving. I bet there's like some breakout pros with some crazy strats that I just can't comprehend. Oh, I missed that. But yeah, uh, there are a number of lives on the right hand side. Uh, if you get hit with bullets, it counts. If you ha lose a ball, it counts. Oh, yeah, my mouse was off the screen there so I couldn't interact. It's way better to play with keyboard, but I found it a lot easier with mouse because I can click way faster. He didn't. But I have no time to focus on, on the waifu on the left hand side. Yeah, like your lives are here, you get your time. Alright, let me exit here. And I will go to a different stage. We'll go to this one. I'll show you guys what it's like and then we'll call it there because that should give you guys an idea what the game is like. So here... There's a lot of things happening. Those are rotating bats, which cannot be destroyed, and... Oh, and I lost the ball. Okay. Uh... Those drone ships can be destroyed. The gray blocks with the X's in them cannot be destroyed. So I don't know if you saw, but I just picked up a power up that increased the size of my little bat that I'm swinging, so it's easier to hit, hit things. Again, the animation doesn't really matter, it's just more about timing and position relative to your model. Rotate it. This one I had a, a very difficult time beating. Yeah, if you have the bar power up, the bullets, if they hit it, it does decrease the life by one. This one, I came so close to beating. And then my mouse will go off screen and then just ruin everything. Yeah, my my ears have been leaking fluid lately and it's not not looking good. <laughs> I don't think it's normal. I looked it up though online and I was like either ear infection, ruptured eardrum, and uh, it should it should fix itself in a few weeks. If not, then it suggested I uh, seek medical help. But I was like, bro, I don't I don't have health insurance because I I'm broke. I did have. Medicaid or Medicare or whatever it was for like a year but Then like you're supposed to renew it everywhere every year everywhere I don't know what I'm saying and like the process messed up somehow I guess and I don't have it now I'm, I'm broke as heck so I did qualify for it, but like oh we beat it so easily first try fellas Oh man So yeah, I'm not wearing headphones right now because I feel like I shouldn't. Why don't we call it there? Also, everyone I know is like watching a Squid Game. It's a K-drama on Netflix. I'm watching it with my parents and you know what? I think uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Alright, there you have it. I'm gonna keep this short because I don't want to play all the levels. Kind of spoil it. I don't want to show all the waifus off right away. You got to earn that. 
The game is Pretty Girls Breakout, developed and published by Zoo Corporation. It's out now for PC and the MSRP's $5.99. It took me roughly around 3 hours to beat on the first try. Uh, I think I can probably do better now that I kind of have a, a little bit of a grasp on, on the game. But yeah, it's actually an okay game. Very questionable. <laughs> Very questionably close to hentai, but it isn't. Uh, still, probably not something you want others to watch you play. <laughs> but there you have it. Yeah, only minor complaints are that my mouse, it's easier to play with the mouse for me, and when my mouse goes off the screen, it messes it up. So I wish the cursor was locked in inside the, the window, if you will. Alright, thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and hopefully this gave you guys an idea of what the game is like. As always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there, and I'll catch you guys next time. Can you imagine if I just became like a professional hentai reviewer for the rest of my life? I think I would hate it. Alright, see you guys later.